What's up, you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Star Wars 6-inch Black Series action figure review on the 40th anniversary of the Empire Strikes Back Hoth Rebel Soldier. If you're trying to get your Star Wars figures, you can do so at... Search your feelings. You know it be true. Dark Side Toys is a store for you! Link below. And while you're down there, please go ahead and reach over and hit that like button, as well as the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And a big thanks to Hasbro for making this review possible and sending out these 40th anniversary Empire Strikes Back figures my way. If you want to check out cool images online, check out hashtag ESB40. And you can see a nice image of the Hoth Rebel Soldier from the original packaging, as you can see a side-by-side -side right over there. Pretty nifty, I like that. Anyway, on the side, not a whole lot going on. And then on the back, you get a little re-up right over here on this 40th anniversary wave. And you can see the other figures from this wave up over there. And then on this side, not much going on. We do get a nice fancy silver foil sticker right over here, which I think is really cool. I like that a lot. Not much more at the bottom, so let's get to it and crack this thing open. <laughs> So here's everything that comes with the Hoth Rebel Soldier, or so I thought until I was looking at the comment section over in my unboxing video, so thank you guys very much for filling me in. But you can see that we get two guns right over here, and then two different pieces that we can use for the head sculpt and the backpack, which looks really good and very well detailed. By the way, I hope you guys don't mind me just jumping straight into the accessories, trying a different format over here, so I'd like to know what you guys think. Leave a comment, let me know. But I love the sculpt on this thing. Not only the gunmetal gray parts, right here which look fantastic nice metal shimmer to that paint so i really like that a lot but you also get some nice detail in the white parts you can see that fine texturing right over here those vertical lines look really good just really like how this came out quite a bit and you get check this out bonus face there we go so yeah you guys are right what a cool little nifty gift to get or an addition anyway anyway i'm going to go ahead and close this back up and port it onto the back of the figure and just show you guys how these tabs work and really don't work at the same time so you just port this back in here and i just find it tricky getting this inner tab going into the backpack it's just hard to do but if you don't pull it off it still looks good it's just really easy to manage even if you don't have it ported in there but you can see it is tricky to get that ported in but it's not impossible and if you just push I guess from the outside it's a lot easier to do so still works out really well you get the two guns right over here I really like this one a lot looks really good I like the scope and everything nice color for the plastic you also get this one over here as well I dig that we get a holster for this so you can just go ahead and put it right in there and then we have the headgear which I'm really happy to see an elastic band right over here for these goggles I don't know I feel like you know they could have overcomplicated things but you know I'm glad that they just went with an elastic band and this works out really well. Unfortunately, I do have a little bit of added white paint right there on the lens. So that bothers me. And then you also get the Corona mask right over here, which I just thought was a funny coincidence. Now I'll demonstrate putting these on the figure in just a second, but I wanted to get a closer look at the head sculpts. <laughs> Now, one thing I love about Star Wars is that as much of a fan you may think you are of Star Wars, there's always a bigger Star Wars fan than you. For instance, I was looking up some reference images of the Hoth Rebel Soldier and found that there's a Rey A. Hollis Rebel Soldier, I guess, that's been picked out. I guess he had an actual name. Regardless, uh, it would have been nice if he had come with the accessory that we see him holding on the packaging. Uh, you know, not that I think it's terribly important, it doesn't ruin the figure for me, but it would have been a nice accessory to have. And looking at the face sculpt right here, I do like it a lot. I like how there's this nice paint showing uh, the frostbite and everything happening with his cheeks right over there. Paint on the mouth looks really good. The eyes look all right. Could be a little bit clearer, I think, but it's kind of hard to tell because, you know, this whole visor's in the way. I could just take it off. Yeah, still, I think the eyes could have come out just a little bit cleaner, but I do like the expression. Yeah, very pinky, kind of getting frostbitten looking face. And then, you know, just to swap it out with the bearded face. Very easy to do, very much like the Fortnite figures. And then you can just pop this right back on right here. And I remember having this guy with my Power of the Force figures. Still really like that. Great looking beard. I think they did a really good job with the paint for the most part. I am noticing a little paint missing just on this side. You can see the sculpt of the beard and some of that paint is missing right there. The eyes look pretty clean on this one. They look a little bit more pronounced than the other face sculpt. But yeah, I really like both of these. And I just love that they included this as a bonus feature. So very cool. Love the gunmetal gray that we're seeing right over here. The band going around the top of the hat looks really good. And just to demonstrate putting the goggles on right over here, it's very easy to do. However, sometimes 
this band gets stuck in this slit right over here and that can be frustrating so watch that so you can see it's kind of happening right over there already so you do want to watch out for that get this over the whole uh, communicator apparatus on the side of his head so that we can do that and see how it's kind of digging in there so that could be annoying however it still looks all right but you just got to make sure that you position it correctly doesn't matter because i'm going to take the head off so this is how i put the mask on you just you know grab the mask again nice texturing right there i like that and then oh other way there yeah, right over there like that can have it sit lower and then just put the head back in and yeah there we go so now we can have him with the goggles on and his covid19 mask on right there and yeah that looks pretty good i like that this sits a little on the low side but it doesn't bother me i like how he's all covered up right there for the snow so that looks great and two things i wanted to mention with this corona mask right over here is that i get a little picky about my figures having all the accessories i prefer them to have all their accessories on the figure itself so if he's got his gun in hand and his gun holstered right there and the face is stored i'll like to put this right over here doesn't look great but you know eh, it's something and then there's another display option shown in the hasbro promo images where you could take the mask and flip it upside down and have you know the pointy part pointing downward and then go ahead and port this back into place and now he's wearing it kind of like an ascot you know we see that in the promo images i guess it was like this in the movie so you can do that as well it's just another display option which i like and looking at the rest of the figure i mean dude the sculpted detail throughout i mean even in the joints right over here that looks great i like these colors that we're seeing some nice tan colors throughout the gunmetal gray looks really good once again i like all the wrinkles and all the details throughout are just very impressive to me really dig that we're getting a softer material right over here so that helps with articulation the legs look great boots look really good there's your hot rebel soldier butt and then there's his butt flap and then you can see more details sculpted in the legs right there looking really nice man can't really complain about that and he still has peg holes at the bottom of the feet kind of weird placement right usually it's in the middle now i do like the articulation on this figure it does get a little bit gappy right here at the base of the neck we do get a neck joint and we do get a head joint so i wish that was covered up a little bit more but again we do get the corona mask that hides it very well anyway you can turn the head side to side you can turn that neck joint side to side he has great head pivoting right here he will look up that far i wish he could look up a little bit more than that and then the head will look down that much i wish it was a little easier to move that head downward as well so the forward and back movement is a little tricky but you can see it still obviously works good head pivot we get butterfly joints in here that move forward and back shoulders move outward that far move down all the way rotate a full 360 we get a single jointed elbow that bends in that far rotation at the elbow left wrist turn side to side hinges up and down right wrist turn side to side hinges horizontally you do get a diaphragm joint that turns side to side diaphragm pivot crunches forward just that much and back that much and then hips move outward oh and it rotates side to side of course hips move outward that far you can see how this gun will just get out of the way and he'll kick forward that much back upper thigh cut double jointed knees really good double jointed knees right over here and then his ankles move down it's a tricky thing to get them to move up i feel like the right foot gives me a hard time moving upward a lot more so than the left foot i don't know it's just a little bit weird but hey they still move up a little bit and you still get ankle pivot and to measure out this hoth rebel soldier you can see that he is standing just a little bit over the six inch mark and then for a size comparison we have our six inch black series figure next to the power of the force hoth rebel soldier that came with the display base and wow a huge improvement right over here i mean i have been wanting this line of figures uh, ever since these came out i guess but man i always liked this figure i don't know why and then to compare this hoth rebel soldier next to some other hoth rebels we have luke skywalker that came with the wampa we have our hoth princess leia and then we have han solo that came with the tauntaun and you can see the tech right over here the photo real tech on these two the faces just look so much better on these two figures than these two over here and then here's the hoth rebel soldier next to a couple of imperial soldiers we have the snow trooper and the atat -AT driver and then for your rebel soldier comparison we have the hoth rebel soldier next to the regular rebel soldier from a new hope and then here's the hoth rebel soldier next to your average six inch scale figure we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man whoa you got a lot of stuff going on over here got a lot of buttons over there on your backpack Ooh, you got some little buttons right over here on your chest and what are those things over there on your belly Ooh, what's this on the side oh! Ooh! okay all right 
Okay, they're made for killing. Let's just say they're all made for killing. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and once again, please go ahead and hit that like button and hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And a big thank you to all these people over here that support this YouTube channel. It really does go a long way. If you're in the position to do so and you want the Patreon perks, check it out. Link in the description below. Now this figure over here is not perfect. I do feel like the whole uh, strap going around for the goggles gets in the way with the top hat piece coming away from the head that could be a little finicky same thing with the backpack plugging in properly that gets a little wonky but i gotta say aside from those little things and that little white paint on the goggles i love this figure it's got everything i wanted in a hoth rebel soldier and more having the interchangeable faces is such a huge bonus i'm super happy to have that i love this figure man what can i say at the price point of around 22 bucks i'm gonna give this hoth rebel soldier a sun rating of i love it Two! Two, please! I may get more than two. I really don't know. I really like this figure a lot. And I'd like to know what you guys think, so be sure to let me know in the comments section below what do you think of the new format. If you want to see the latest in my social media, you can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, and TikTok, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace! Uh, posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures every day. I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, I'm posing action figures, it's okay. That's crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't. Shot, 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 shot,